I'm Tom Sikora, Chairman of the Parish Committee. I would like to welcome you to the 100th anniversary of the Holy Trinity Parish of the Polish National Catholic Church. In this video presentation, we highlight the past 100 years. The earliest days of the church is recorded in the Acts of the Apostles. Tell us that Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, was their focus. It is the same for us today. Our faith is alive in Christ Jesus, who is risen from the dead. The story as told by these pictures speak of a faith in the same Jesus, a faith alive and witnessed by God's children, whose lives put church and freedom first. Holy Trinity Polish National Catholic Church in Washington had its beginnings in 1913 when Polish immigrants who dug the church's foundation by hand engaged a local contractor, W.H. Fear, to construct a church in Canton Township. These same immigrants eventually sought out Prime Bishop Hoder to join the Polish National Catholic Church because of their desire to keep the church property as their own. Prime Bishop Hoder sent Reverend Sagewski who celebrated Mass for the first time on January 25, 1914, as it was then that the people of the Holy Trinity Washington agreed to join the PNCC. Shortly after this date, land for our parish cemetery was purchased. The parish was up and running as it began to regularly celebrate Eucharist and make monthly mortgage payments in the amount of $500. The ANS and the first parish committee were organized in August of 1914. Prime Bishop Hoder would visit Holy Trinity in 1921 and again for the final time in 1930 to celebrate the Sacrament of Confirmation. The new parish in Washington was not only the center of its people's faith life, but it also served as a vehicle to celebrate our Polish heritage and our everyday life as God's people. This was done with Dzinki festivals, dinners, and various church-centered family events that gave life to our families and to our greater community. From the start, the members of the parish worked hard to build an edifice that was worthy to be called the House of God. The wooden church located on Goat Hill was encased in brick. The interior was carpeted and stained glass windows were installed for the 50th year anniversary. All these renovations were financed by pledges from the parishioners, as well as various fundraisers that included hardtack candy, dinners, and the making of pierogi, along with the events at the Polish Club. The Eucharist lay at the heart of any Catholic church. Holy Trinity is no different. Mass was offered first in Polish, and then eventually in English during the first 50 years. As the church moved on to its second 50 years, the revised liturgy was introduced with Mass, now celebrated at 8.30 and 10.30 a.m. The end of the first 50 years saw School of Christian Living classes become a fixture in the parish life. Parish life included involvement in flea markets, turkey dinners, and various festivals all of which served to help our church work together toward the goal of keeping our parish viable, as well as keeping the dream of relocating and building a new complex alive. The parish also offered various youth programs such as Vacation Bible School at Camp Buffalo, track and field competitions, and sports tournaments. Our parish continues to heed the call to go and teach as Jesus did with our school of Christian living, our vacation Bible school, as well as adult education classes. In the past, our parish marked various milestones of its existence. 60 years a reception at the Polish Hall, 70 years a reception at the Red Fox Inn, 75 years the dedication of the current worship space. It was in 1988 under the guiding hand of Father Felix Pazowski that our parish began the groundbreaking for our current church, rectory, and social hall. Our church possesses beautiful statuary and stations of the cross, which were hand carved by Father Madai, a priest of the Polish National Catholic Church. The new church was completed in different stages. First, the purchase of the property. 
followed by the construction of the church, the rectory, the social hall, a parking lot, and a new Allen organ. Through this entire process, the one constant is the faithfulness of the people of Holy Trinity and their hard work that trusted that the Lord would see their dreams become a reality. The beginning of the new millennium continued to see our church growth in its commitment to the Lord. Our former pastor, Father John Mack, was named as bishop of our church. One of our native sons, David Nichols, was ordained as deacon to serve the church. The commitment to growth is also seen in outreach to the world around us with events like the 30-hour famine, blanket ministry, dinner for our local fire department, vacation Bible school, adult education and regular help offered to the city mission. This commitment is also seen in our continued support of projects like our annual fish fry and regular pilogi making, which serve to keep us physically viable and also help us grow fellowship. Our parish committee understands that ongoing commitments and the new projects like the renovation of the altar at the cemetery keep us alive for the next hundred years. As was stated at the start, the focus of our church and parish is Jesus Christ, risen from the dead. He has been our strength and our hope for a hundred years. We are a people alive in Christ Jesus, who strongly believe the closing words of St. Matthew's Gospel. Go teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And know I am with you always.